Well, if you got a big area that you're painting and you can't decide between two colors, you might be able to put them together with a color wash. And Sandra from Full Like a Pro is going to show us how to do it. Now, this is the color wash technique That's right here. That's the color wash, yeah. Now, these are the two greens you're talking about. We've got two uh, colors um, that we're putting together. We've got a blue-green and we've got some of the blue color. They're very complementary to one another. The important ingredient here is the glaze. Um, you need a long open time glaze. We're working with the full like a pro glaze. And open time means it stays wet longer, so yes. you have more time to work. Yes, and we're doing a wet on wet technique, so every, the entire wall needs to stay wet. Our ratio for this is going to be five parts glaze to one part color. The uh, third bucket we're gonna keep as clear glaze, and that's gonna be our third color. Okay, these are color washing brushes. This again is a soft hair brush. The approach here is you need to use long sweeping strokes because we have a huge wall to cover. Now I'm just gonna work with the green first because that is the most dominant color. Now notice the spacing I have between each stroke. Uh -huh. uh, so that's gonna leave some space for the blue and also the clear glaze. Uh, the blue can intersect with the green a little bit, almost like you're doing a little blending while you're stroking. Okay, each time you uh, place your brush down, you need to move to another area. The final pass is going to be the clear glaze, and we're going to just kind of fill that in and blend with this brush a little bit. And that's just going to soften the color? Yes, it's soften the color. All I have is clear glaze on here and see what's happening. Yeah. Pick up a little of the green, and then we can kind of just place a little bit in here, and then go back in and blend. Once the glaze is set up, you can basically switch over to what's called a bristle block brush. And we're going to blend this, and we're also drying out the glaze, because the glaze stays wet for up to an hour. Mm -hmm. And we've got a lot of glaze in here, very little color. And just by pulling up on this brush, you can eliminate all of those brush strokes if you don't like them. All right, I'm ready to give this a shot. You ready to go? Okay, yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Nice broad strokes, wonderful. And the angles are important. You know, we don't want to do vertical, we want to do you know, we definitely have these angles and spread that glaze as much as you can. Yeah. Feel beautiful. Yeah. And then the final finish, we're just going to do another softening with this bristle block. Okay, well, Sandra and I are going to finish up this wall, but this color wash is a great idea. Just looking for a little subtle color. Beautiful. I can see why this is popular.